some fun activities you can do at home to safely experience the partial and total solar eclipse. Now here with me is Julie Creer, one of Mesquite's volunteer educators, to show us ways we can view the eclipse if you don't have eclipse glasses. So, welcome Julie. Hi, thank you. So why don't you show us a little bit of the demos that we can, people can do at home. Okay, so one of the fun things, if you happen to be able to stand under a tree, you can look through the branches and you'll see the shadow and the different phases of the eclipse through the branches. So that's an easy one. Yeah. And we're lucky enough that the sun is coming out. Um, one of the other things that we've put together is a punch card and you can hold it with the sun at your back on a shadow and you can see the phases of the eclipse. Even though you see a square, a circle and a triangle, when the sun is actually shining through it with the phases, you'll see the phases on the ground or on your, even on your hand. So you can, it's really neat to see the different phases through that. So these are really handy, especially for young kids who, you know, can't really wear the glasses perfectly on their faces, yes. right? Yeah, so that's one of the main things is you don't want to look into the sun. So even most houses have a colander. So you can even show a colander on the ground again with the sun at your back and you can see yeah, you can see the phases through the, uh, the holes in the colander. So one of the fun things that we've been doing at our booth is actually making a pinhole uh, viewer. And it's super simple with cardboard, foil. And so you cut the, the view part of it and you fold the foil over it. This is so easy. And then you take a toothpick. Sorry. <laughs> it's live TV, folks. And then you just poke a hole in through the foil. Just a small hole. Just a small hole, a round hole, and again, you'll see the shadow of the eclipse on the on the paper, on the, the cardboard. That's fantastic. Um, is what are like things that um, you know? Like this is one of my favorite activities. Like looking at the shadows. What gadgets at home, like at home, can people like pull out out of their kitchen or anything else? So a cereal box, you can make a pinhole uh, viewer out of a cereal box. Um, I actually pulled this one off my refrigerator this morning. So, um, and again, you do it the same way with poking a hole in it and holding it up to the sun so you can see the shadow on the ground. Um, we've got the, the tree branches is a good one. Um, and the colander is an easy one to pull out of your kitchen. Okay, how are you feeling about the weather here in Texas today? I am so excited that the sun is coming out. It's a little bit humid, but we're used to that in Texas. We have every little, you know, phase of the of the weather, but the sun is out, so people are starting to look up. It's really fun to see the different faces already. And as an educator, how are you feeling about people's reactions to the eclipse, to, to the science, to, to the things that they can do? It's been really fun. We've been talking about how the animals are going to react and is it safe to leave your dogs outside and how the birds are going to quit chirping because they think it's nighttime. And so it's been it's been fun to, to, to Google and, and research some of that. Um, what have been what has been like the biggest question people typically ask of you? A lot of them are, are why can't I just look up the sun? Why can't I, you know, and so you you get a sunburn if you sit out in the sun too long. So imagine looking directly at the sun with your eyes and, and the damage that it can do to your retinas. And it's not even something that you'll notice right away. It may be something that you notice a day or two later that you sunburned your eyes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Julie, for joining us. We really appreciate it. Um, and now I think we're going to throw it back to the views in Mazatlan and maybe or elsewhere around the country. So.